Hi guys! Today we are going to introduce flags for planets and see what happens to them when gravity acts on them. Let's have some fun! We'll start with the Moon. It takes the same amount of time to orbit the Earth as it does for it to spin on its axis. As a result, we always see the same side of the Moon facing the Earth. Let's start making a flag for our Moon. In the center of the flag will be a white circle symbolizing the Moon itself. And around the Moon will be three orbits of different colors. Deep indigo, electric blue and purple. All of which symbolize the Moon's journey through space and its eternal dance with gravity. The flag turned out amazingly beautiful. By the way, the weight of objects on the Moon is about one-sixth of their weight on Earth. For example, a person weighing 100 kilograms on Earth would weigh about 16 kilos on the Moon. Let's apply the Moon's gravity to its flag. The next planet will be Mercury. It has a unique orbital resonance with the Sun. That is, for every two revolutions around the Sun, it makes three revolutions on its axis. This phenomenon creates a peculiar picture when observing the planet's motion from Earth. First of all, the flag will have a black background to show the darkness of space. In the center of the flag will be Mercury itself in white, symbolizing the unadorned and pristine nature of the planet. The flag will also have two diagonal lines, one of which will be red and the other one orange. These two stripes symbolize the heat received from the Sun. Overall, the flag is very interesting. Mercury is much smaller than Earth, so its gravitational force is much weaker. Because of the lower gravity, objects on Mercury weigh about 38% of their weight on Earth. And our next planet is home to the largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, which is three times the height of Everest. And of course, it's Mars. The background will be red, symbolizing the color of the planet. In the center of the flag is a white circle, symbolizing hope and inspiration. And around the white circle are four smaller circles, each with its own meaning. Circle 1 – the planet has a great drive to explore. Circle 2 – Relationship of celestial phenomena and their influence on the planet. The third circle – The planet's unique landscape. The fourth circle – Constantly expanding knowledge and opportunities. Because of gravity on Mars, sounds propagate differently. Sounds will be weaker and less distinguishable compared to the Earth because of the lower density and thinness of Mars' atmosphere. The gravitational force on Mars is weaker than on Earth, which means that objects on Mars will experience less gravitational force. For example, an object with a mass of 100 kilos on Earth will experience a gravitational force of about 38 kilograms on Mars. Our last planet is about 49,500 kilometers in diameter, making it the fourth largest planet in the solar system. And it's Neptune. The background will be blue, symbolizing the Roman god of the seas. There are two horizontal lines above and below in black, symbolizing the mystery of the cosmos. In the center is a white circle, symbolizing the clouds in Neptune's atmosphere. Also depicted in the center of the flag is a white trident in a black circle, which also speaks of god Neptune and the dark regions in Neptune's atmosphere. Because Neptune is a gaseous planet, it is a large mass and size, as well as a large gravitational force. For example, an object with a mass of 100 kilos on Earth will have a mass of 114 kilos on Neptune. Neptune's gravity is much stronger than Earth's. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch the other videos.